Hey there, I'm Marco and in this video I'll tell you the whole story of how Hamza has changed my life. So let's get right into it. Before I had discovered Hamza in December last year, I had already been working out for about 2 years and eating clean for about few months. It was because I was really motivated to build a great body because I wanted to get girls and because I knew I had good genetics. But what forced me to look into YouTube self-improvement was one moment in early December when my good friend grabbed my shoulders and said, bro, you are so insecure, you are so egotistical, nobody likes you, you need to change something. That really hit me hard because deep down I knew he was right and I needed to change something. It wasn't just being egotistical, I was also really anxious, slightly depressed and I literally spent hours a day simping on Twitter. I started watching Cole Hastings' Better Ideas and Better Than Yesterday on YouTube and also some motivational BS videos. I loved those videos but unfortunately none of those videos actually forced me to take any action. I would watch the video and do nothing after it. It was like that until I discovered Hamza in late December from one of his NoFap videos. He was so motivating, so inspiring, so relatable, like that one older brother I didn't have. His voice got stuck in my head forcing me to improve if I didn't want to feel guilty. I promised myself that 2022 will be the year where I'll change my life and follow Hamza. So before 2022 had even started I already deleted video games, got rid of social media, uh, Twitter and Instagram and got onto NoFap on 21st December last year. I had also read one book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I was ready for 2022. From January 1st and onwards I was just implementing some habits Hamza has talked about, for example meditation and reading. From January 24th, when my school had started, I had built my first real routine ever. The routine looked something like this and it included like, as you can see, cold showers, Wim Hof breathing, working out and eating clean obviously, getting up early, going to bed early and stuff like that. I would also occasionally read. So let's get on to February. In February I just continued with my routine and did three big things that made a difference. First thing was starting to journal every day, second thing I did some looks maxing, so I fixed the gap between my teeth, uh, I fixed my acne at the time, I got a new haircut, and also the third thing, a bit unfortunate, I installed Instagram again. I was also chewing a lot of gum and mewing to get a better jawline. That was pretty much it for February, so let's get on to March. In March I noticed my mental health getting a lot better, probably from meditating and journaling, uh, helping me be more focused and a lot happier than before. Also, I went to my school's math competition and I got a second place which pushed me to the regional competition where I got third place respectively. In April, I finally installed the Medito app to add meditation to my life and next to Wim Hof breathing, which I also consider something like meditation. And I also installed an app called Headway for book summaries. And also I had made my first habit checker ever inspired by Hamza. Around that time I didn't have the YouTube app on my phone but I still unfortunately had Instagram. In May one problem I was having since January was getting worse and that problem was simping because I wasn't simping uh, for celebrities or anime girls or whatever. Uh, but due to being on NoFap and not having any girlfriend or whatever I was starting to feel all that huge feminine energy that girls in my school carry, so I was, it was really messing up with my mind at that time. I was in love with this one girl that didn't really love me back or whatever and I also liked a lot more girls in my school. So the problem was that I still had Instagram and all of those girls were following me there. And Instagram was bombarding me with their posts 24-7. It was really messing up with my mind. On May 30th I said enough is enough and got rid of the app and all of my accounts forever. Even though I was already meditating and journaling for months, after getting rid of Instagram I felt huge mental health benefits so I definitely recommend you to do the same. And also if you say like well I need Instagram to chat with my friends, bro, if your friend doesn't have your phone number to message you on WhatsApp or whatever, he isn't your real friend. Like I didn't lose a single friend when getting rid of Instagram because all of them already had my phone number. So we chat on WhatsApp or Telegram or Viber or, or whatever. Like 
you don't need Instagram to keep in touch with your friends. You have million other platforms that don't destroy your mental health like Instagram does. In June, my school year was ending, so I was preparing to make even more progress. I started reading a book a week and looking into some different business models. I also printed out my goals uh, on one wall and printed out stoic quotes. You can see them behind me. I got uh, confidence, so I also started uh, DMing girls on Viber, sending emails and messing around. I also wanted to get some uh, business ideas and some other ideas for improving myself. So I turned off my phone completely when July started for five days and I got a, a lot of nice ideas, for example, to make this channel. So it was it was really useful for me. So I spent most of July uh, reading books, messing around and uh, keeping my habits in check. From July and onwards, you have everything documented on my channel already, but for the purpose of this video, I'll tell you some highlights of August, September and October. So here is why August was one of my best months ever. So I had a routine that was making me a man. You have the video on my channel, but I'll put up the routine here on the screen. Also, I earned my first online income ever. I did self-improvement coaching on Fiverr, with one guy from USA. I read a ton of books and a lot of things had happened. Now September. I found my first girlfriend. I learned web design, Facebook ads, Shopify dropshipping. I earned more on Fiverr and my confidence was at its highest. Now October. Very motivated, making a lot of progress. Main goal being earning money. So that's how Hamza has changed my life forever. From an insult simp, to a man that helps others improve. Thank you, Hamza. If you have watched this far, I need to say thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. So I was practically reading from my script. My English is not perfect and I'm trying to improve that. It will be better in the future. So I hoped everything was great. You don't feel like you wasted your time. And yeah, guys, have a nice day.